Welcome back everyone, Zaf here. In today's video, we will be reviewing toys, as with the introduction of magic items, the optimal toy attributes have changed. And what I mean by this is that toys such as this, 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 basically all my exotic toys are now terrible, and I will explain why shortly. But first, as usual, if you have yet to unlock Love Cat, I recommend commenting down below your referral code, that way people see it and it gets used. And also, if you are a subscriber, I will pin your comments to the top of the page, that way people see them easier and they get used. And speaking of subscribers, we are almost at the 25,000 subscriber milestone. I recommend you do subscribe, because we will have a very juicy giveaway coming up once we do reach that mark, so do subscribe and stay tuned for that. And really quick, since we are on the menu page, have you seen the latest notice? If we go to the update notes and go to the 2.5.0 advance update notice, we see something very interesting here. I'm sure everyone knows it's been a very, very long time since the release of a free-to-play slime. I believe the last one was for the one-year anniversary event, which was so many months ago. We are now very overdue for a free slime. And if we look at the middle of the page here, it says added new slime has the real hero of Christmas returned. I do believe this means that a new free-to-play slime is coming. My one biggest indication of this is that the alley slime pass has 14 days left on it. You can see at the top of the screen there towards the left. So it's very unlikely that the developers will release a new slime well in advance to the slime pass being updated. So I am very hopeful for that. It's been ages and ages since our last free-to-play slime, and I know all the free-to-play players are dying for a new slime. That way their damage gets a nice boost. And also we do have a Christmas event coming up. I'm sure you've seen the daily login. The rewards are fairly subpar, but hey, we'll take anything these days. So I do hope a very nice Christmas event is coming up. That way everyone gets some nice free rewards. I am hoping that the slime is for free, since if you recall, with the recent release of the alchemy update, they changed everything for the worst technically speaking. I do have to say that the current alchemy cauldron sucks. They did say that we should get free SS rank slimes, using 50 slime fragments as shown for the hero demonstration at the bottom there. But where are the SS slime fragments? If we look at the information section, it does say you can get 1 SS slime fragment, 5 S slime fragments, or 10 A or lower slime fragments through crafting, but as you can see, we can only get the S rank slimes, and it's limited to Ornus, Amber, Santa, and Farmer. So what gives did the developers completely forget about this update? I'm dying to see if we can actually get some SS rank slimes, because so far this has not remained true. And you can't say that I'm rushing this, I've been very patient to complain about this fact. This update has been in progress for months now, so when is it going to release to the player base? The fact that we need 50 slime fragments, makes it insanely hard for us to get even one SS slime for free, so the developers should really release this. I'm sure it won't cut into their profits too much, but my assumption is they're wondering how best to implement this, because we have so many SS rank slimes, and if it's the same for the S rank slimes where we get random fragments, well, it'll basically be impossible to get an SS rank slime through fusion, so I do think they have to be universal, with a very low pull rate, but we'll see what happens there. It's in the notes, and it's in the information page, so they definitely should add it. And in the game assets for the actual fragments, there are SS rank slimes in them, so all they really have to do is implement it. Anyways, we'll see what they do there. For today's video, the focus is toys, so let's see what I'm talking about. The first thing I want to highlight here is the fact that our critical damage is at 587 million. Yes, you're reading that right. Our critical damage is insanely high now, and what that means for our toys is that critical damage is now useless. If we look carefully, we have 587 million, 280 thousand percent critical damage so if we switch to a toy with a 
without any critical damage. I have a minor toy here. You can see that our crit drops by the exact amount of the toy stats. That means that magic items do not multiply our toy's effect, that being with critical damage. So that is no longer an attribute we want, because the 100,000% bonus really doesn't do too much for us anymore, because we're just adding 100,000 to hundreds of millions, so the effect is minuscule. With that said, we do have to look for new attributes for our toys, so which ones should we choose? Well, thankfully, companion damage is still a good choice, so if you have a toy with companion damage, you stick with that. But for the other two attributes, it's really a toss-up between what you want and what you should get. Boss damage isn't too important, because our base stat for boss damage is already so high. But again, it is one of the best attributes you can get now. Critical damage is now out of the picture, so don't even consider getting that. As for skill damage, if you're running the new trait meta, which is two skill attack traits, and 3 attack traits, that would mean your slime skill damage set is around the 20,000 to 10,000 range, so having a toy with skill damage really won't be too much of a benefit. It will add a little bit of a bonus due to the fact that it's at over 1,000%, but with boss damage being a lower amount, that being 450%, it still is more beneficial than skill damage on a toy, so after companion damage, you should go for boss damage. And after that, we do have a couple of choices, surprisingly. One thing I've said in basically every video is that HP is one of the rarest resources in the game. And thankfully, when it comes to toys, they do provide a very high amount of HP. As you can see, the HP on this legendary toy is around 610%. So if we go to our HP stat, you can see we have 20.2k, but if I do switch to our toy, which has around 600% give or take, and I say give or take because our toy does provide an extra 50%, so once we take it off and switch, we do lose that 50% bonus that we get with matching toys with minor. But anyways, we do gain around a 10% bonus, which isn't too bad, it isn't the greatest, so HP is an attribute you can choose. I believe at the exotic level, it's probably around 900%, so it isn't too bad of a choice. It won't exactly make you survive forever, but compared to some of the other attributes we can choose, such as skill cooldown, maybe even movement speed, HP does look like the better option. But I do have to say that if you do have a toy like me, that has critical damage, companion damage, and let's say boss damage, I don't recommend you going out and changing your toy, getting another toy that's the exact same for your same slime. The benefit won't really be there. I recommend just building towards a new toy, since having the same toy for a slime isn't really much of a benefit. You might get 5% extra damage, but really at the end of the day, there will probably be a new slime to replace the one you're using right now, so you'll have to just get a toy for them. So no point wasting resources on an exotic toy you already have. And yeah, that's basically it for the toy discussion. In short, just avoid critical damage on your toys due to what we outlined already. Magic items have changed the landscape of the game, so I am doing updated guides on each aspect of the game right now. Our next video will be a build guide video. I know I've promised that one for a while now, so do stay tuned for that and again be sure to subscribe if you haven't already once we do hit that 25,000 subscriber mark i'll have a very very juicy giveaway coming up that everyone will definitely enjoy and also we do have 10,000 members in our discord server right now i will have a small giveaway in there as well so be sure to join if you haven't already we have a fantastic community in there so be sure to join in on the fun anyways that was it for today's video do drop a like if this helped you out at all leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to comment down below your referral codes zaf signing out